Hey guys, we are back from the Walmart. Uh, I get all my packs from Walmart and I do not get them at retail. I pay. So this is a mystery bundle. I think it was a, two years ago. Typically what happens is they have these bundles. They rotate them in and out every year. After two years, they rip the bundles and they make new. And you might be like, oh, why don't they just put the packs in the the old packs into the new bundles? No, they have new inventory for that. They want like the newest sets because they think it would sell better and it's actually cheaper to have. So what happens is they rip all the mystery products. Uh, they make they have all the inventory from Walmart. It goes back into the little storage room and it gets sent to a distribution center, and then the distribution center then acts and sells on their own. So people say, oh, do you get it from MN Holdings? I say, sometimes I say yes, yeah, sometimes I say kind of. And the reason being is this inventory is from M MN Holdings, MN Holdings, but it is inventory that is, you know, that is sent back, Walmart is sending back, and that itself is a different co company that deals with that, right? So there's a different company that stocks it, and then there's a com different company that unstocks it, and then takes the other inventory if it doesn't sell. Uh, they're located in Oklahoma, which is, I believe, one of the bigger centers of... Now let me change out a booster. I, I guess we'll just do two Crimson Val. So that's all to say that I'm get I like opening older packs. I think it's kind of cool. Forgotten Realms, I think that's kind of cool. I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate. I like opening old packs, so this is pretty good for me. So this comes from a $29.99 mystery bundle. And I think one of the bundles, it didn't, doesn't say in the box, but it's a pretty big box. And they mentioned that like it's all just blisters. It's all blisters. There's some loose packs too, but I don't buy them. I try to buy all the blisters. Guardian of the Faith. So I'm not sure if that card is valuable. Flash, Vigilance, whenever it enters battlefield, any number or target creatures you control phase out. Pretty interesting. I guess you could declare blockers and phase out. Magic Missile, I don't know. We're gonna have to research uh, the price point a little bit more. Here, like you can get one of these boosters, uh, and this is much heavier. So you can get Jumpstart, you can get this booster, which is just like, you know, it's kind of a funny little booster. Uh, I've never seen this booster before since I started. I completely forgot they were doing this. That they actually one time was selling these giant boosters on theme. Oh, this is kind of a cool car. I'm pretty sure this is good. Uh, yeah, gate, right? Gates. We'll take a look at the gate. I don't know, do we get two rares? Do we get one rare? I know this does cost extra money, but it's, it seems to be just, oh, that's another one. Oh, here's the, uh, this card used to be really good. I remember drafting it back in the day. Oh, so you do get more on com oh, no, back to commons. I was gonna say, wow, it's all on commons. Wand, okay, so what is our rare? Wow, that was, you gain X life and draw X cards with X number of creatures you control. Yikes, oh geez. That was really bad. <laughs> Not even worth uh, talking, oh man, that was really bad. Two packs and I'm pretty sure we're at zero. Maybe that uncommon's worth some money. Anytime you can search your, anytime is a green search card, kind of worth a little bit of money. Crimson Vow. Oh, wow, okay, that's a good card. I take that card. I'm pretty sure one of these cards, it has like a woof, is worth like a little bit of money. I have to figure out what the commons on commons are. Hollow Heads Overlord. And, oh, that is a commander card. And a foil and a card from the list. All right, I mean, that's kind of interesting. I'm gonna probably do a calculation of the hits at the very end of the video, like I did before. Flash, at the beginning of your upkeep, for each creature you control that's a wolf or werewolf, create a 2-2 green, wow, that's pretty good. Now, but it's, it's legendary creature vampire. Made of dishonor, it looks, looks kind of like a dude. Yeah, I was very happy to see Strixhaven. It's been a while since I've opened Strixhaven. They do have security tags on them. So, 
Yeah. All right. I have asked them and previously, like a year ago, they actually allowed me to just take the boxes so they wouldn't have to rip the packs. I could just take the box. I have like some videos of that, the mystery boxes. And that was obviously a better opening for me. But at the end of the day, they said they can't do that anymore. Because they're like a resell, because those boxes actually do resell for quite a bit of money on. Oh, that's a codex, memory lapse, fracture. And oh, that's a, you cannot cast permanent spells. Okay, I'm not sure if that's a good card. Memory lapse is good. That's a cool card. I take it. Counter spell. All right, let's see if we can pull an Elspeth. Elspeth, as I mentioned, is quite difficult to pull from these packs. I don't know. It's short printed. They short print a lot. There's actually a bunch of uncommons that are worth money now that were not worth money when I first was open. Oh, offer you cannot refuse is worth money. A little chat. I'm, I don't think that's worth money. Public enemy. Unleash. Okay. Oh, a little chat. I thought that was an offer you cannot refuse. Oh, yeah, because it creates two treasure tokens. That's not bad. I mean, treasure tokens are always good. I'm going to probably try to organize this a little bit later and figure out if any of these cards are worth money. I, I'm pretty sure they are not. Oh, I haven't, I haven't opened packs in a while. It's been very busy. Been very, very busy at the home. Oh, this guy. Okay, a forest. That's cool. Wedding invitation. Vampire Slayer. Cobble. Again, I don't know which uncommons are worth money or any uncommons here are worth money. Would be cool to get, oh, a braid. So a braid used to, when it first came out, it used to be a five or six dollar uncommon, especially in foil. Now it's just not very much. If you would draw a card, X out the top two cards of your library instead, you may play those cards this turn. Yeah. I don't know if that's good. I mean, yes, you're drawing two cards instead of one, but you had to play it. All right, that was it. Let's continue to open. So did I make back my, so oh, back to where, how much I pay. So they cost $29.99 retail. I pay 60%, so I pay $18. And that is, comes down to $3 a blister, which is nice. Um, that's kind of, so right now I pay $3.10 for a set blister of the newer sets. What I like about, that's a set. What I like about this is you can get older ones. You can get older packs like Forgotten Realms and Strixhaven and so on. Anyway, let me know if I made back my money.